So what sort of trout are they? What sort of? The trout are they? The rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. Yeah. But there are other sorts, aren't there? There are brown trout in here as well. Ah. How do you know those are the rainbow ones? What happened if to you look at the colours now when we take it out, okay. you see it on there. What happened to the brown ones then? Well, the brown ones are around, but they they hide. They don't come out the same as the... They're not so ex extrovert? No. Right. I don't want to head first, you don't want to see this really on the camera, do you? Yeah. I seem done. Okay, Angus, we're going to cut the rainbow trout now. Place a knife. In the base of the tail, just draw the knife straight through, right to the neck. Far up so it can go, but it's a bone. Turn it over, place your hand underneath, right up, and you'll feel the cord at the top of his neck. See in there? There's a the cord. Oh, yes. Right, just cut the cord in there. Yes. Pull it out, straight the way. That's all the in is. As you'll see, that is a blood vein running through there. Cut down the middle, just like that. One streak. We haven't got the water yet, has he? He's getting the water. Well, meanwhile, while we're waiting for him to come back with the water, what we do is check the stomach contents. Now, in the stomach, if you're out fishing, you want to check what the actual trout is eating. So when you're using flies for fly fishing, you can find the right fly. What we'll do is just take the stomach, open it up, like so, and then inside it will tell you exactly what he's been eating. Grass? Now, even in there, no, there's a bit of pine needle. Oh, pine. He's accidentally taken something and ate the pine needle as well. Look. All right. And in. There seems to be a lot of wings of flies. A bit of grass. There's a fly. This looks like a dragonfly. It is a small dragonfly, you are right. And there, if you look and you still see the wing sat on there, of a gnat. Oh yes. On the water. Yes. So the and fish was doing a good job keeping the fly population down. That's right. But in May, you would have mayfly as it coming into May and as it goes on, the flies change all the way. So does the fish's eating habit. Right, we'll get some water. What are those two orange bits? That's the eggs, ah. but these rainbow won't breed in this captivity here, the same as the brown trout that are in there. These won't breed in there because they're stockfish. They're not natural to this country. They're originally they're from America. Right, water. Right. Right. Take the fish, place it in the water, and where you've cut that, that vein, you run your finger straight down, like so. Yes. All the blood coming off. Any bit like that. Like so. And then just wash him. Make sure you drain all the blood off. And it remains. 
a little bit there, look. Get all of that. Otherwise, if it's left for too long, it'll taint the fish slightly. And now, Angus, there's your supper. Wonderful. Okay. Fantastic fish. Mm, I'm looking forward right. to that. Job done. Now we'll get in the bag to put it in. <laughs>